Hello all. In this lecture, we are going to learn about linear search uh, using functions. So uh, before going to the program, let us know what is linear search. Right. So linear search is nothing but you will try to search uh, an element in the given list. How you will search? You will take the, uh, the searching element, that is whatever the value you wanted to search, you will tell that as a key element or key value you will tell. And you will compare that key value with each and every item in that particular list, one by one. That is, you'll start from the first and you will compare the key value with the first one. If they are equal, you will tell that key is found. If they are not equal, then you will increment the next, uh, you'll increment that uh, list uh, value and you'll go to the second value. Again, you will start comparing with the key value. If they are equal, you'll tell it is found or else you will move to the third. So like that, we will uh, finish all the entire elements of that particular list. And if suppose, if you will find that element, then it is obviously search is successful. If, the, if you can't find the key value, then it does search unsuccessful. Here linear is nothing but one by one. You'll start from the beginning and you'll go till the and linearly one after the other one, you will compare with the key value and you will check whether that particular key element is found in the list or not, right? So that is the basic idea of your linear search. So we'll start with this program by using your hash into the stdio.h and then as they had asked our uh, to write a function, I just uh, created a simple linear function uh, which I am calling in the main method. So coming to your linear method, what logic I had used here is I declared an array of size 100 and here search is nothing but your key value and some C and uh, N. Right? Then I am asking user to enter number of elements in the array. That is how many number of elements user want. 5, 6 or 7. How many number of elements be below 100 you can give. Right? Because I took array size of 100. Next, that n value I'm reading in, into the n variable. Next, so depending upon elements you give, that is the number you will give those many times, you will read that value, right? If I give five uh, five uh, array elements I want, then it will ask enter five integers, right? So though that one I'm reading by using your for loop and also scanf in, uh, where I'm reading those values into the array, right? So array of C. And... Uh, as usual, this you know already this one how you are going to read the array elements that are simply by using the for loop, right? Next, I'm asking user to enter a number to search. So whatever the value you wanted to give, or whatever the key value you wanted to search in that particular list, you can give that one. And that one I'm uh, search uh, reading it into the variable search, right? So next, I'm using a for loop here. And what did I said? I'll be trying to compare the uh, initial value with the key value and then second value with the key value, third value with the key value. So that is what how many times we are doing according to the number of list, list size, accord, those many times I need to repeat, right? If I give 10, type, 10 uh, number, that is 10 elements into the array or the list, 10 times I need to compare my key value with the particular elements, right? So that is the reason we are using here for loop. C is equals to 0, C less than or equals to N. So whatever the N value will be, obviously because I had given 0, so it will be 0 less than or equals to N, condition will be 2, and then you will enter into this for loop. So now what I'm doing, array of 0 element is equals to search. That is, if I give array of uh, 0 at element is 2 and my search is equals to 5, then what will happen? This condition will not be um, checked out, right? That is, uh, key value is not equals to 2. Then what I'll do, I'll simply just come out of this, uh, this uh, for loop uh, and I'll check out the next one. C is equals to N. That is, did I finish my list of elements or not? If it is not, then you will just, uh, if it is equals to N, then you will tell that I couldn't find. But if it is not, 0 is not equals to some 5, then condition will be false. Again, you will increment the C value. If suppose my second element is 5, and I also wanted to search, uh, search a key value is also 5, then simply I'll enter into this for loop and I'll tell, 5 is present in some particular location, right? So that location I had given C plus 1 because well, always your array values uh, reading starts from 0. So that is the reason we had given C plus 1 there. And whatever I value I wanted to search, that one I'll give it in the place of percentile. 
right? So this is how you will repeat the whole process until you will reach to the end of the element in that particular array, right? If suppose that five, whatever the key value I have said, I will give five. Five is not at all there in that list. Then simply you will get that percentile D is not present in the array, right? So this is what the basic logic, what we are trying to use in the linear search. Right. So let us compile this code and execute it once. So compilation, no errors. So it's asking enter number of uh, uh, elements in the array. So as usual, I'm giving five and then I'm uh, wanted to give 12, 23, 45, 56 and then 76. Next step. And uh, here I wanted to find 30. See, 30 is not present in the array, right? So this is what if the key element is not there in that particular list. If I wanted to find that list, then what should I do? We'll see that also. I'll give not only. Uh, 12, 23, 1, 32. Now I wanted to find one. Yes, one is present at location three. So this is what is happening with your linear search. And as I said, you will go, you will compare the key value linearly with one, one by one element which is present in our list or the array, right? So this is what the, the program using functions for the linear search, right? So I hope it's clear for everyone. Thank you all.